How's it going, everybody? This is another custom uh, figure video I wanted to do for you, and I just got it completed the other day. Um, I'd say it's probably about 95% of where I want it to be. I have to do a little bit of painting on his mask, but that's kind of it. I might want to replace the body, but I feel like it's, a, it's far enough along that I could do a video for you because there's really not too much more I'm going to change with it. Um, you, if you might have seen my other Hunk Custom video, and this is essentially the same figure, but I gave him some different equipment. Um, it's the same body, it's the same, uh, you know, battle dress uniform, the same mask, the same boots, but everything else is completely different. So there's at least several things I'm going to go over. Now, unlike that video, I know the recipe for this more or less. Because it's all recent stuff. I still have, you know, I still have ready access to that information because I just ordered it. So I'm going to go through everything and some stuff I don't remember, but it's not really that uh, necessary to know. So anyway, here we go. So I'm going to give you the formula for this the best as I can. Uh, I wrote a little uh, set of notes here. They're not great. Some stuff I don't know where it came from and I neglected to... Uh, note down what some stuff is so i'm going to start from the top down but the helmet we have here which i replaced from my other hunk uh, figure if you've seen that one you see it it's got an american flag on the back i actually have to paint over that this is from the soldier story police esu canine division i got this uh helmet because I saw a friend of mine, he recently put this hunk figure figure together too. And I liked how his helmet sat on the head compared to the one I had. I always felt like it was a little underscaled. And the giant lenses on the mask really make it look like tiny. So I opted to get this one. Like I said, I'm going to paint the back of it. Uh, the mask is from an ACI set. I'm not really sure, but I did see it on a few websites. They're the only... It's the only company that's put out a mask that I feel like is comparable for Hunk. It's, it's you know, it's about as close as you can get it without making something yourself. I mean, I guess you could get a, a mask and, you know, paint the lenses yourself. But I feel like this, is like, right out of the packaging is, is fine. Um, I did glue another one of these canisters on the front. I'm not happy with it. I do want to replace it at some point. Because the front section of his mask is more streamlined and it's smaller than the side. Um, it's been that way as far back as RE4. I do have to paint the uh, the ridge that's on the inside here, right under the, like the the snout, I guess, of the nose of the uh, the front of the mask. That needs to be painted like an olive drab to match, you know, remake two. Um, the the vest system we have here is from Hot Toys, U.S. SOCOM, Navy SEAL, UDT. There's a few versions of this. There's a black version, and this is the olive drab version. I mean, this section here, as well as the shoulder strap, should be like a tan orange almost. But it's really hard to find anything in that color that's this accurate. This vest system is actually 100% accurate to the design that's in the, on the model in the game. Because if you look at it in the model view where you have these Velcro sections here, which had pouches on them, but I ripped them off. I mean, you're able to. It's, it's designed to do that. But you won't find one that's, you know, this accurate with the, the correct pouches, the correct buckles on it. I don't know where the Molly vest is, uh, what it's from, because I neglected to write that down, unfortunately. But you could get anything that's a bulletproof vest or a vest like this that has, like, the Velcro section here on the top because that's actually what's on the model in the game um i did have a bulletproof vest that was just kind of blank there was nothing on it and i wasn't happy with it and my friend that made this as well did this and i kind of liked how it looked uh the vest system actually has more on the back and it came with all of this you have the hydration pouch i mean hunk since re 4 has had hydration pouches it came with this it buckles into the back here with uh, buckles same thing with the the butt pack this side pouch here wraps around the belt uh, with a molly system. It did come with another one for the other side, but he doesn't have one there. Um, this pouch here that I used for the radio is uh, it's for like an M4 magazine. And I believe it's... I'm just like looking through my, my thing here. Uh, it's from a Chinese Damn Toys PLA SF 
figure. I don't know what that is, but that's what I have from Black Ops Toy. The radio is the same as the 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 BDU outfit, and as well as the head underneath is from the Damn Toys FSB Spetsnaz Alpha Group. So the head underneath looks like Walter White, if you look that figure up. Uh, the BDU that I have on here is really accurate to what's in the game. So I'm glad I didn't really need to replace that, because the one in the game does have these arm pouches too. So I'm happy with that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the front triple pouch, and I'm just going to pan the camera down. This is from, and the one thing came undone. This is from a Sideshow Collectibles G.I. Joe First Sergeant Duke. So, that's that. I think it's an older figure because it doesn't have a typical, like, you know, strap to uh, link it in. It has, like, these plastic fingers that you have to wrap around the belt. Oh, as well as the, uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention this, but this belt system does come with the vest. Uh, there is a couple more of these vest systems floating around, but uh, they're not too common. Uh, the hands, as well as um, the elbow pads and the the knee pads, they're all from a DID LEPD SWAT 3.0 Takeshi Yamada. So, and these are um, really good, accurate um, pads compared to the the in-game model. I'm so glad we have a character viewer in almost every Resident Evil now because it really does help with like custom work. Uh, the the drop leg uh, holster, as well as the uh, the drop like bag, these are both from. What do we have here? Very hot U.S. Secret Service, and they're both from. I guess they're both from the same figure. And uh, if you look at the character model, they both have on both sides. He has like two straps per leg, so that's where it should be. I will go over the weapons after I get finished the uh, the overview here. I don't remember where I got the boots. These are from my old hunk figure, so it really doesn't matter as long as they're like military looking, really. And I think I think that's it for everything. I'm just going to quickly show you the weapons because I did have to customize the MP5. Now I tried to be as accurate as possible with the weapons. I mean, I'm I'm really a stickler for any custom figure I'm making, specifically from you know like Resident Evil. But uh, the USP, I mean, I don't really think I could do any better than this. I mean, the magazine is kind of wrong. It doesn't really have that angle to it on the bottom, because if you play the the Four Survivor mode in uh, Remake Two, he's equipped with the uh, the MUP or MUP, which is just a USP that's got a silver slide. And this is from the Starry's uh, Celine from Underworld uh, figure. And this is, you know, this is great. And it fits perfectly in the, the, the holster I have. Typically, in my experience, holsters are really specific as to the weapon they're made for. And you usually can't put in other weapons. But this fits perfectly in the one I got. Now, the, uh, the MP5, which I tried to make as close as I can to the LE5 from uh, Remake 2. And like I said, it's just an MP5. They, they gave every weapon in Resident Evil now, like, their own little name, but they're all based off real weapons. Now, this, the MP5 itself is from the, um, Art Figures Epoch Cop, you know, uh, Anderson from Dread. Now, all I really did with this is I cut the front sight off with an X-Acto knife, the little loop, because he doesn't, his gun doesn't have this. I mean, you can really use any MP5 you want, as long as it's based off, like, a classical MP5, you know, from, like, every 80s action movie. I mean, I, when I think of MP5s in action movies, I usually think of uh, Die Hard, because, like, all the terrorists were walking around with one. Um, now, the thing that did hold over from my other Hunk Custom, um, I didn't use the MP5 that I had with the original one, because it wasn't you know, a classic MP5. So I opted for this one because I know I had a few loose ones uh, sitting around. But I did keep the uh, the sight system, at least the rail. And now this little sight here is from a loose M4 I had. I mean, you can really use whatever you want. I mean, um, Black Ops Toy has so many, like, loose, like, gun accessories that you could probably find something on there. I would just suggest getting something that's 
you know, somewhat subtle and like low key, like, like very like streamlined as you can you can get it because the uh, the sight that he's got on the LE5 in game is pretty low to the the rail, so I would just suggest getting something like that. So that's about it for this. So that was my home custom. I hope you guys liked it. It was a really fun project. It took about two weeks to upgrade from where I was. Um, like I said, it cost about $100 to get everything I needed. Um, Black Ops toy typically is a little bit expensive, but they have a good amount of you know stuff. Like You can really find anything you need on there, specifically if it's like military style stuff. Um, if I ever decide to, which, which I probably will, I'll probably make another Hunt Custom to you know replace the one that I lost. Because that home custom was based off Revelations 1 or 2. I think it might have been 1. But uh, that was like his modern version. And this one's supposed to be set in 1998. So I might redo that one. Uh, the mask isn't that hard to find if you know where to look. Um, I don't think I mentioned it. But I don't know what the body is underneath of this. Uh, I didn't know in my other video either. But I would just suggest getting one with double jointed elbows. I always prefer that if I, if I can get it. Because I like the range of motion. You're able to get way better posing with guns. And I'm able to get his hand to his ear like he's listening to his radio. Uh, I, I guess in total, if you're going to like scratch build this from nothing to uh, get order everything to build it, it would probably cost you what my original hunt cost, which was about $200 or so. That's a lot, but I mean, it's something that like you know a major company probably will never make. And it's something you can make on your own. I mean, Hunk is probably the most accessible custom figure you can make for Resident Evil. Like I said, as long as you get the mask right with red lenses, you're golden. You could pretty much do whatever you want after that. As long as it's got the mask, it's going to be Hunk. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this. I hope you can leave me a like and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next video.